بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم إنا أعطيناك الكوثر فصل لربك وانحر إن شانئك هو الأبتر it is a Meccan surah and it's from the, one of the greatest surahs of the Qur'an in which the favors of Allah are manifest upon His Messenger sallallahu alayhi wa And also this surah is dedicated to mentioning what Allah gave to him in abundance, not only in this world but also in the next. In the ayah, inna a'atainak al kawthar roughly translated, no doubt we have given you the abundant good. This is consistent with previous surahs in which Allah also mentions His favors, that those f- surahs also conclude with a, with a call to either show gratitude to Allah or to do ibadah to Him. For example, you know the famous surah, Allah Azza wa says, أَلَمْ يَجِدْكَ يَتِيمًا فَآوَى وَوَجَدَكَ ضَالًّا فَهَدَى وَوَجَدَكَ عَائِلًا فَأَغْنَى But then at the end of that surah also, وَأَمَّا بِنِعْمَةِ رَبِّكَ so it's a, it's a call and invitation made to show gratitude to Allah Azza wa Jalla. And this is consistent in this surah also. Because in this surah there's a call to ibadah made right after the gift. Inna a'atainaka al-kawthar is the gift. And then what's the call? Fasalli li rabbik. And pray only for the sake of your master. And the surah concludes with a condemnation of the enemies of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. And it elaborates that they are in fact the ones that are going to be cut off completely from every, every good in this world and the next. As for the Messenger who is concerned Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, Allah has elevated him in terms of his mention in this world and has granted him in, in this world and the next. And so in this surah, Allah Azza wa mentions in regards to his enemy in Nashani Akahu al Abtar that the meaning of Abtar in the ayah is the one who is cut off from any form of good. There is no good at all left in this person. In regards to the study of coherence of surahs, there is a few, con- a few observations we're going to make. The previous surah, and what's the previous surah? Surah Al-Ma'un. Allah Azza wa Jal attributes, gives us four attributes or depicts four things about the hypocrite. The first of them is miserliness, being cheap. You know, and being, you know, greedy. And so greedy that you're willing to push the orphan around and not even talk about giving to the poor. Doesn't even encourage. Doesn't even, you know, bring it up. Why not? Because if he brings it up and he's wealthy and he's encouraging people to give to the poor, the, poor, the people are going to say, well, what about you? What are you doing? And he, he figures, hey, if I don't bring it up, nobody will bring it up to me. So he doesn't even, you know, talk about it to begin with. And this is the, ex- the extreme state of miserliness. The second, abandonment of prayer. And where is that in the previous surah? الَّذِينَ هُمْ عَنْ صَلَاتِهِمْ سَاهُونَ س- Sahwa literally means to forget something when it's not that important to you. So they really abandon the prayer for things they think are more important. And the third attribute, now keep in mind what's the sequence. The first one was to, um, to be cheap. And the second one was to be heedless and to abandon the prayer carelessly. And the third one now, showing off in matters of salah. Where does he say that? الَّذِينَ هُمْ Yura'un. This is the third attribute. They, they're the ones who show off. And the fourth is giving even the smallest acts of charity, the, more, the bare minimum acts of charity. And this is interesting. They don't use the word sadaqa. They use the word zakat. But they actually use it because that's the, that's the least someone is supposed to give. They would be a criminal if they didn't give that much. It's wayamna'una al-ma'un. That ayah is talking about that, that, that final bit that they're not even willing to give that which is mandatory upon them. Because literally the word ma'un in Arabic means the item which you're not supposed to refuse ever. In comparison and contrast to these four attributes, Allah Azza wa mentions four other attributes in this surah. And in, in contrast to being miserly and cheap, what did he mention in contrast in this surah? Inna a'tayna kal kawthar. We have given you the abundant good. So the contrast of being cheap is giving. And who's giving here? Allah Azza wa Jal. So by Allah saying, Inna a'tayna kal kawthar, one of the implications of that is to give. If Allah has given you so much, then the very least you should do is that you should give. And in contrast to mentioning, in the previous surah he mentioned the people who don't care about salah. And what does the surah say? Fasalli, fi'il amr. Pray then. When Allah commands, now don't take it carelessly. Because you know, it's not just, you know, salah is a good thing, salah has benefits. Allah is commanding to the salah. When He's commanding to it, He's, he's, he's expecting from us consistency. So that's the second. And in contrast to the third one, الَّذِينَ هُمْ يُرَاؤُونَ They're the ones who show off. You know, in, in contrast to that, he says, not just pray, but pray for the sake of your master. In other words, your intention should only be for 
Allah Azza wa Jalla, they should not be addressed to anybody else. So now here, this is a matter of ikhlas. As opposed to there, the problem was a lack of ikhlas. You're not doing it for Allah, you're doing it to show off. And in contrast to mentioning that they forbid even the smallest favor. That they don't give what they're supposed to. Allah Azza wa here says, وَنْحَرْ And sacrifice. First of all, sacrificing an animal requires you to spend money. Because animals aren't free, so it requires to spend money. And when you sacrifice the animal, part of the meat is supposed to be given in what? Charity. The, the act in and of itself, so the one who gives the sacrifice necessarily is giving sadaqah after they're done. Then Allah Azza wa Jalla says, إِنَّ شَانِئَكَ هُوَ الْأَبْتَرِ That you're, Allah, at the end of that surah talks about the enemy. Right? The, the, the enemy of the Prophet ﷺ who will be discontinued. And the previous surah is dedicated to the acts of the one whose mention should be discontinued from the beginning to the end. All of these descript descriptions are the descriptions of the person who is Al-Abtar. They are descriptions of it. So there's a connection between these two things.